Allow me. Go register first. A certain booth owner should use her brain instead of slacking off. You might as well start designing your mascot now. I don't look that scary. I think they both represent you. One is you pretending to be nonchalant before the result of the charity booth application was announced. The other is you being ecstatic once you learned your application was approved. Why sheep? You visit the hospital quite often. It is a mascot designed by the booth owner. I suppose this counts as my submission. You drew these? This one reminds me of a carefree child who disobeyed her doctor's orders and snuck out of the hospital. For what? Not listening to the doctor or secretly running away? What are these drawings? Are you certain that's what it's supposed to be? I cannot be compared to you, but I'm better than most. I did tell him to get some sun downstairs instead of staying in the ward all the time. Sammy didn't want to do checkups when he first arrived at the hospital. Grayson did it to coax Sammy to take his medicine. He's not a three-year-old kid. Such lies won't fool him. That's because he's determined and never gave in to fear. Yes, those patients have been discharged. If words of hope must be transmitted through some sort of medium, I'll always find that medium. And then, I'll tell everyone that spring is on its way.
We're heading back. Thank you, Dr. Zhang. Bye. Well, thanks to a certain someone who collected every one of the children's drawings and told their stories to the people who bought them all morning. A basic skill for surgeons. It's good practice for holding a scalpel. Apples have high water content. They're good for people who talk a lot. Well, someone invited me to go see tulips with them. The line went dead before I could even respond. Yes. And then someone blushed, looking as red as an apple. <laughs> Let's enjoy spring together from now on. <laughs>